Welcome to our estate sale in Windsor Hills this week. Uh, this week I'm taking you on the tour. We have an entryway table over here. We have an upright piano and a bench. On top of the piano we have one of those really great 60s Chinese lamps that are really collectible. Over here we have some original art, a drop leaf end table, and an antique organ stool. The lady we're doing the sale for loved to collect Primitive, so you're going to see lots of primitives throughout the tour. On top of this display cabinet we have two antique clocks. One of them is a really interesting little novelty clock here. And as we pull back lower in the cabinet you can see the display cabinet. And inside the display cabinet we have a nice little piece of Weller. And we have some hall pieces and we have a really great piece of RS Prussia and a salt glaze pitcher. Uh, over here is the antique uh, cornice board. So if you're doing the antique style, this would be a little great. This would be really great for a window. Uh, here we have a dry sink that is primitive. On top there are several crocks. Uh, this is an antique uh, bread tin or bread baking mold. This is really nice. It is a primitive pine, primitive corner cabinet. Uh, as you can see on the inside, lots of pewter ware. We have some more crockery, a uh, Vaseline glass dish. That's an antique wooden dough bowl and more crockery. And we have a gun that we're selling this week. This gun won't be on site until Saturday. But this is a Winchester model 9422. It's a 22 Magnum uh, gun and it's in really nice shape. And as we go into the next room, like I said, she loved primitives. We have a kind of a 60s dresser. Right next to it, we have an 1850s kind of American Empire tall chest. This is really nice. You know, these used to, 10 years ago, bring $1,000, $1,500 at when we had our antique store. Uh, we have a primitive little kitchen cabinet with some mason's jars or some antique canning jars and a little ladder back chair. Uh, the pillows are made out of antique quilts. Over here we have a Singer treadle sewing machine. This is in really nice condition. The case is in really good condition. Yeah, if this is something you're looking for, this is a really nice example to buy. There's lots of military uniforms. As you see me walk through, just you'll keep an eye out. There's lots of military uniforms kind of all over the house. We have an antique spinning wheel on top of an antique table. Over here, we have, there's a pair of primitive little chairs. These are probably mid-1800s. Um, let's see, there's all sorts of neat little things. We've got an antique, this is an antique taper candle making tin. They used to pour wax into it and they could make candles out of it. We have cast iron wall hangings for matches, for cards. We have more crocks. And we have a cast iron cook stove. And over here, this is a reproduction little radio that's made to look like an antique. We have a pressed oak rocker with a needlepoint seat. And these are our books and CDs. Right here, we have a pair of laying side, little tiny little side tables. Uh, these are really good if you have a chair that sits out in the middle of a room. They don't take up a lot of space, but they can kind of give you that little handy little surface to sit stuff on. And we have another primitive. This is a little primitive sewing cabinet uh, or knitting cabinet. Another really old chair and a uh, kind of a washstand, kind of late Victorian era. In the kind of what they call their den, we're kind of using it as our garage. We have a mission style round oak table, pedestal table. And there's lots of little military hats on top. Over here, we've got some hand tools. There's a vintage little red wagon. If uh, you know someone you want to get him with, you can fix their little red wagon with it. Um, over here, we've got um, just other miscellaneous little items. Kind of what we would normally call our little garage things. And some old farm implements. And we dug these out of the garden. There's a really nice piece of uh, quartz crystal big rock, a big chunk of lava rock, and some petrified wood, and some clippers. 
and this is really kind of cool. This is an old primitive bench. It's got really great distressing and coloration with it. You know, a lot of times these things don't have really good coloration or they're kind of bleached out, but this really looks nice. Into the kitchen, we've got a little pair of these four ladder back chairs. They all have little paintings on the back of them, as you can see. This is a Pendleton pillow. If you're a Pendleton collector, this is a cute little pillow to get a hold of. We also have a little drop leaf primitive table. And over here, lots of, there's a few collectors, but there's lots of transferware. There's lots of transferware. Some of it's flow blue, some of it's not, but lots of, of good, really good variety of transferware. And over here, we have several pieces of Desco ware. It's all in very good condition. You know, normally at state sales, the insides are all kind of icky and kind of burnt up. These actually are really nice in shape. Over here, we have more flow blue, more transfer wear. And up here, we have a piece of jadeite and a USA, one of those iron, uh, oven proof balls. A lot of really cool vintage little things that we don't normally get. Most of the estate sales we do don't. You know, the people usually have stuff from the 1950s and newer. This one actually has a lot of older stuff from the 1800s, so this is kind of a neat little cell to come to. In this closet is going to be the bulk of our military uniforms. Some of the stuff will date from World War II. Some of the state will be from the Korean War. Um, they had several different family members, so there's kind of a, a broad timeline on that. Over here, bowling ball and a little bitty tiny kids chair. Here we have another little Victorian washstand and the kind of a 1950s, 1960s era machine cabinet. Uh, these are really cool. I love this little style. And Christmas is coming up, so if you're going to be decorating your outside, this little sled decorated greenery would be really cute. And there's some linens. And as we go into the next room, We've got a little, uh, you can use this for a microwave, you can use it for a TV stand. Uh, right next to it we have several quilts. Some of them, these are going to be pretty affordable because some of them have little issues with them. This is really kind of neat. This is all velvet. It looks like it's all hand tied, but it's a really kind of a neat velvet quilt. Uh, of course, you know, we have ring quilts, we have the applique quilt, a couple of other ones, uh, an all wool blanket. And some just miscellaneous electric blanket. It's starting to get cold, so that would come in handy. And last little room on our list is the master. There's a pair of little twin beds and little drop leaf coffee table and a couple side tables. The one little neat thing in here is this antique medicine cabinet. And like I said, if you're redoing a house, this would look adorable over a little guest bathroom. It you know, this little medicine cabinet that you don't see very often. And another little primitive chair, and this is his little sewing cabinet. And that pretty much is our tour for the cell. It's not a big cell like a lot of our cells are, but it's definitely worth coming to if you get the chance. And we certainly hope to see you this weekend, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.